Okay, so in this video, I'm going to discuss the LDU factorization, uh, which will help you do problems uh, 11 and 12 uh, on the homework. So the LDU factorization is closely related to the LU factorization. Okay, so um, the first thing we have to do is find the LU factorization. Okay, so um, in finding the LU factorization, well, we're going to go back to that systematic way of doing row reduction, which is we want to think of row reduction as doing as subtracting a multiple of one row from the other. Okay, and so if you recall doing that, um, to row reduce A uh, to upper triangular form, we want to do, we want to construct this multiplier, this, so to eliminate this minus 2, um, we would construct this multiplier L21, which is equal to A21 over A11. In this case, we get a minus 2. <coughs> Okay, and so to eliminate the minus 2 that's here, what we do is we do row 2 and then minus minus 2 of row 1 and put that in row 2. Okay, and so when we do this um, row operation to A, we get um, first row stays the same, the second row changes to 0 here and Four there. Now, since this is a two by two, um, we already have an upper triangular matrix. So this is U. I'm going to put a, a hat on this because um, we're going to get a different U for the LDU factorization. Okay, but this would actually be the U for the LU factorization. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> from here we have U, and now we can actually write down what L is. So if you recall, uh, L will have ones on the main diagonal, okay? And then this L21 entry is, well, it's that multiplier from up here. So this is minus two, okay? So LU hat is the LU factorization, okay? But LDU means you wanna go a little bit further, okay? And so the reasoning behind this LDU factorization is that you notice that L is constructed by putting ones on the main diagonal. Um, well, <coughs> U hat, or U in the LU factorization, doesn't necessarily have ones in the main diagonal. Okay, but the LDU forces U to have ones in the main diagonal. Okay, so we're going to transform U hat so that there are ones along the main diagonal. And to do that, all we do is we scale. We scale the row so that the entries in the main diagonal of u are u hat r1. To do that, okay, well, this entry here, it's already a 1, uh, so I guess I could write this as, well, 1 times row 1 and put that in row 1. Okay, I'm not changing anything, but this 1 here will go into the matrix D. Okay. Well, I go down to this entry on the diagonal, and it's a 4. So I have to scale this row so that that becomes a 1. And the scaling that I need well, one fourth R two and put that in R two. Okay, and so that leads to um, a matrix. If we do these row operations. Well, the first row didn't change, and the second row now becomes zero and one. And this is U of the LDU factorization. Okay, the one thing we need now is D. So how do we get D? Well, D is, D stands for diagonal. It's a diagonal matrix, okay? So it's only non-zeros are along the main diagonal, and they happen to be the reciprocals of these scales, okay? So this one here, the reciprocal of that one is one. That goes there. And then in this two, two entry goes, well, the how we scaled row two, which was with this one fourth. And we would take the reciprocal of one fourth, which is four. And then zeros everywhere else. Okay. So this is how you find the LDU factorization. It simply just takes the LU factorization and changes the U so that there are ones along its main diagonal as well. Okay. And in order to do that, there's this scaling that needs to be done. And the scaling factors, the reciprocals of those scaling factors, go into this matrix D. Okay. And so you can check, and I'll let you do that, check that LDU is equal to 